talented guy. Retirement for some, of course, that means golf, vacations, kicking back with your feet in the sand. But for one KUSI alumni, it's been a chance to hone in on his passions, namely breaking out his trombone and playing all across San Diego County. Here to tell us more is Dave Scott. Boy, when I saw you on the guest list, Dave, I was excited. It's good to see you, sir. Man, I can't believe I'm talking to you. I mean, we just were working together not too long ago. I know, I know, and it's. Uh, but you've been busy ever since playing your trombone. You told me when you were working here on the weekends about your passion for it. Detail us the story. How'd you get into trombone in the first place? You know, when I was a kid, just in, in the first day in band room, I had no idea what I was going to play. The, the band instructor, Mr. Miller, it was seventh grade. It was in uh, Kailua in Hawaii. Uh, I saved up money to get a trombone. And uh, I just started there. My best friend was a year older than me. He played trombone. So he, I kind of learned with him as I went along. And we just uh, played all these years. And I got a chance to play with the Royal Hawaiian Band. I got a, a, earned a you know, scholarship at the Honolulu Symphony. And then I just continued on. And and I've just uh, been lucky enough and fortunate enough to keep playing. Because you've got to play this all the time if you're going to do it. So that's what happened now. This is my new world of wonder, if you will. This, this, this place, uh, Matt, it, it's called Bellamy's. And it's a great place. And uh, you, of course, are welcome anytime, my friend. Yeah, well, I know I was just going to mention that my wife and I came up to Nick and G's one night to hear you play, and it's just a fantastic experience. The food, fantastic, but also just the music and the ambiance of it all. I guess, have you missed the weather wall at all, Dave, or are you just <laughs> throwing yourself fully into the music and that's where you want to be? Yeah, ab absolutely. You know, we're blessed with a certain amount of time. One of your guests on the morning show uh, I think it was, you know what it was? They, uh, David and Crosby passed away. And one of the things he said was, we are grateful, he was grateful for the time that he had, but we, it's not the time that we have, it's what we do with our time. Mm. And we all have a certain amount of time. I, uh, after 30 years at KUSI, I felt uh, I wanted to devote my time that's just something I've always done since I was little. I've written a whole bunch of uh, songs, and so now my, my goal is to get all those recorded and out there. And so I that's that's what I'm doing now. And it's and it's a blessing. And, you know, KUSI is the greatest. Tommy, seeing everybody, Matt, you, Rafer, and Hunter, and everybody, Logan, it's just a great place. I'm so grateful to have been there. Uh, this is what I get to do now. Yeah. Well, you're such a fortunate person because you've gotten to do your passion, whether it be TV or whether it be music. Maybe you can give people some insight. I mean, how do you keep two passions alive at once? One that's your job, but then another that's sort of a side piece and, and, ju and just your hobby. Yeah. Uh, it's very simple, Matt. You get no sleep. That's how you do it. <laughs> I a love of, it. A lot of coffee, no sleep, and you can do anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't recommend that. You know, we, we all want to stay healthy, but when you're doing things that you love, you are going to be healthier. You're all going to be happier. And that's what we all have to do. You know, and mm -hmm. you got to give it a shot out there. You got to you got to enjoy life. And and uh, and, and that's and, and and you have to share. You have to share with others. That is a thing. You see the guy behind me? I do. That, uh, his name is Bobby Lanuza, and he was the former band director of the San Diego Chargers. And when they went to L.A., Bobby said, no, no, I think I'll stay here in beautiful San Diego. So I get a, the, the great opportunity to play with him here at Bellamy's on uh, Tuesday and Thursday. I'm at Nicky G's in Rancho Santa Fe, and every Wednesday... Uh, yeah, Tuesday and Thursday, there it is, Nick and Cheese, Ranch of Santa Fe. And then on Wednesday, I get to play at the incredible place called Hacienda Casa. Mm. Cody and Cindy Gomez been running that for years. And it is uh, one big happy family in there. It's just a beautiful place. It's great. And all of these places are, are, are wonderful. If you just get, if you go anywhere and listen to live jazz, Gilbert Castellanos, uh, Lynn Willard, there's so many great players in San Diego, Trey Sprague, Peter Sprague, you know, just the whole 
uh, Yemen, so many wonderful musicians, Matt Wallace out there. He's another trombone this week, a great friend. So go out, support real jazz, support live music, and uh, help our kids. You know, that I have two charities that I try to help as, as much as I can. Mm-hmm. One is the Martin Luther King Community Choir in San Diego. Oh, get out the good word there. Awesome music. And uh, the Young Lions Jazz Conservatory. And of course, that is uh, from with the founder Gilbert Castellanos. And he's, a, he's a legendary trumpeter all over um, the country, and he's right here in San Diego. We're blessed to have him here. And he's, he's doing great things. So, if you get, you want to help out uh, kids, music, that's the way to do it. Well, Dave, we're just glad we're able to tell people where they can find you now, where they can go listen. For me, it's just a joy to see your face and talk to you, sir. Thanks so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. Well, Matt, thank you very much, and thank you to KUSI and and everybody, and I love everybody there. Always will. Always have, and I always will. So take care, Matt. I will see you soon, right here. That sounds good, Dave. (laughs) Thanks so much. Appreciate it.